When the hand and foot movements are combined, students can move about the tatami with their hands in contact, like this. Here, the advancing student presses forward from his feet, through the body, and through the leading hand. The retreating student learns to give way and avoid the pressure, ready to take advantage of the opponent and perhaps throw him to the ground. This exercise is done in the Te Gatana hand position. And a similar exercise is done in the palm to palm position. It is called Shote. In Shote training, the students do not move, but press firmly toward one another, keeping their posture. When beginners are able to do break balls well and can move about the mat freely in the way they have been taught, Aikido techniques such as these are introduced. Morihei Uyeshiba was born in 1883. Like a number of other famous martial artists, he was weak and frail as a child. His father encouraged him to take part in sports such as sumo, swimming, and running. This developed into a Spartan way of life, and the boy dreamed of becoming the strongest man in the world. Schools of martial arts abounded in Japan at that time. In addition to the national sport of sumo, there were many teachers and students of jujutsu and sword fighting, or kendo. It was to such people that Yeshiba was attracted. Aikido did not exist, but its forerunner, Aikijutsu, could trace its history back through several centuries. Uyeshiba eventually focused his training on the Daito Ryu school of Aikijutsu under the seventh generation master, Sokaku Takeda. 
Uyeshiba was also a profoundly religious man and studied deeply the teachings of Buddhism and Shinto. He underwent a profound religious experience and according to his followers, developed powers bordering on the supernatural. He welded his dedication to martial arts and religion into a new system to which he later gave the name Aikido. His was not a system of learning how to fight, but of how to understand oneself, other people, and the world in which we live through martial arts training. A prominent judo man, Kenji Tomiki, came to study with Uyeshiba and in time was given a teaching license. Tomiki saw in Aikido a method of educating young people by emphasizing the sporting aspect. When Uyeshiba died in 1969, his son Kishomaru carried on the tradition. Other students of the master, such as Gozo Shioda and Koichi Tohei, branched out on their own. It would be more in keeping with the spirit of Aikido to say that each of these men developed a special attitude or approach to the art, rather than founded his own school since the fundamental aim of Aikido is harmony and not division. Tomiki brought more organization into the teaching of the art and formulated a series of techniques which all Tomiki students learn. These are known as the basic 17 Randori no Kata. The first technique is Shomen Ate. The second technique is Aigamai Ate. Notice that Uke does not resist. The third technique is Gyaku Gamai Ate. The fourth technique, Gedan Ate. Before Tori actually throws Uke, Uke's balance is broken. Ushiro Ate, the fifth technique. Oshi Teoshi, the sixth technique. In the seventh technique, Ude Gaishi, a more complicated arm lock is used. Hiki Teoshi, 
The eighth technique brings uke forwards for the first time. The ninth technique, ude garami, gives uke the opportunity to practice the forward breakfall. Uke does not fall to the ground with wake gatami, the tenth technique. In the eleventh technique, kote hineri, Tori steps forward to raise Uke's arm and begin to apply the lock. The twelfth technique, Kote Gaish, is one of the most painful Aikido locks or twisting techniques. When the hand is seized in this way, all the pressure is exerted on the wrist, so a great deal of care has to be exercised. Tenkai Kote Hineri, the thirteenth technique, is yet another wrist lock, this time gripping Uke's hand from the back. In the fourteenth technique, the wrist is once more a focus of pressure, but this time the arm is forced back against the shoulder, so that Uke topples over. It is called Shionagi. Tori begins the 15th technique, Mai or Toshi.